We will create an uh, Azure SQL managed instance in uh, Central India location. We have already created a managed instance in South India region. So what we'll do now is like we'll create a managed instance in uh, Central India location. And once it is created, what we will do is like we will configure a uh, failover group uh, between South India and Central India managed instance. So right now, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a uh, managed instance in uh, uh, Central India region. So let's click on create. Let's uh, select the required resource group here. So as I told you earlier, it is going to be on Central India. So I'm going to select a uh, uh, resource group that is present in uh, Central India. And what I'll do is like I will uh, name this particular um, uh, managed instance as uh, JB uh, dist MI uh, SEC CI. Um, uh, so JB is in cap. So let me change it to uh, small. So this would be the managed instance name. So what I'll do is like I will uh, change this uh, region here to uh, South India. Sorry, Central India. The reason I'm, um, I will be creating a um, managed instance in South India and the central region, the central India region is discussed earlier because these two things are as part of the PAD region. So I'm going to configure the managed instance. I'm uh, going to go uh, with uh, general purpose service tier and uh, hardware generation would be standard uh, CDs in this case. Uh, remember in South India, we did not see this uh, premium CDs and uh, premium CDs memory optimized. We just had uh, standard CDs. Uh, as far as Central India is there, uh, we have more options, but uh, right now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to select uh, general purpose standard tier and uh, I will have four V cores and then uh, 32 GB of uh, um, storage. So I will uh, check the um, uh, hybrid, uh, Azure hybrid benefit and uh, we will be charged close to 35,224 INR here. I'm uh, going to have uh, locally redundant backup storage. Uh, this demo is just for uh, um, um, the failover group and other things. I'm not worried about uh, the backups because I'll not be uh, having any uh, production workload on these managed instance. So let's click on apply here. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use both SQL and Azure AD authentication. So here I'm going to add my uh, uh, email here. So what I'll do is like, uh, uh, let me search it properly and then let me add it here. So click on select and then I will create an um, uh, admin login. Let's key in an, uh, a strong password here. So once um, we have keyed in the uh, password, let's click on next networking. So here, what I'm going to do is like, I'm uh, going to select um, uh, provision, uh, the, the VNet and subnet that is um, already provisioned. So I'm going to select uh, JB underscore CA underscore VNet um, a virtual network, and then uh, JB underscore DB underscore subnet underscore CI would be the one that will uh, basically uh, hold all the managed instances as for us, uh, Central India is concerned. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is like I'm uh, going to change the connection type to redirect for performance reasons. Just make sure like uh, these ports are um, open for traffic. I'll be enabling um, the public endpoint and also like uh, the minimum TLS version is 1.2. That should be fine for me. So let me click on next security. So here I'm uh, going to leave uh, everything um, uh, default. And uh, if you look at the data, uh, transparent data encryption, right now I'm going to leave it as uh, service managed key, but later what I'll do is like, I will uh, change this to uh, customer managed key. I will be having a uh, separate demo for that. So let's uh, click on next. I'll be going ahead with this collation time zone. I'll be changing it to uh, India standard time. And then uh, this is going to be uh, the more important thing. Uh, this is going to be that uh, I'm, I'll be using this particular managed instance as a failover secondary. So I'll click on S and then what I'll do is like I will select the 
uh, managed instance that I've created in uh, South India region. So let me click on that. So uh, I will um, um, right now I will tell that uh, this is going to be the um, uh, failover group secondary, this particular managed instance in Central India, and uh, I will also select um, uh, the managed instance that will be acting as primary, which is in South India. So maintenance window, I will leave it to default, and then let's click on uh, next. Uh, I'm not going to have anything here uh, as far as tags are concerned. So let me click on review plus create. So let's review the information. The first thing is like, uh, since it is going to be the first uh, managed instance in Central India region, it has to create the virtual cluster and configure things. So it's going to take at least six hours to complete, just the first one, yeah? So I'll be paying 35,224 um, uh, 24 or 25 rupees uh, per month, uh, which would be in INR. Uh, so uh, this is a resource group, which is in uh, Central India. And uh, the managed instance name is uh, JB Dist MI iPhone SEC, iPhone CI, and region is Central India. Compute plus storage, four V cores, and 32 GB storage. Uh, authentication method: um, uh, SQL and uh, Azure Active Directory authentication. So I've selected these things. So the virtual network and subnet is here. Connection type is uh, redirect. Public endpoint is enabled. So everything else seems to be okay. And uh, one thing to note is primary managed instance is uh, the managed instance that we created in South India. So let's click on create here. Yeah. So uh, as uh, advised earlier, uh, since it is going to be the first managed instance in Central India region, it's going to take some time. Uh, so uh, it would be close to another six hours. So what I'll do is like I will uh, pause this video right now and then I will um, uh, let you guys know once the managed instance is deployed. We will configure uh, VNet peering between uh, South India VNet and uh, Central India VNet. As we know, South India VNet contains your managed instance related to South India, and Central India uh, VNet basically contains all your managed instances that are configured in Central India. So now what we'll do is like we will configure peering between uh, the VNet that is in South India to the VNet that is present in Central India. So let's click on the South India VNet. And then here, let's go to uh, peerings here and then click on add here. Yep. So once that is done, what we'll do is like we will uh, give a name here, the peering link name. Um, I'm just giving like uh, VNet peering, uh, South India MI to uh, uh, Central India MI. And what I'm going to do is like, I'm uh, going to leave this as allow for traffic to remote virtual network. Traffic forwarded from remote virtual network is also allow. Virtual network gateway or router server would be set to none default yeah. and as far as the remote uh, virtual network is concerned what I'll do is like I will uh, uh, provide um, a name for the peering link here. So it is uh, basically like VNet peering Central India MI to South India MI. So here uh, virtual network deployment model would be uh, resource manager. I will not check this I know my resource ID. I will uh, leave the subscription here and here what I'll do is like I will select my uh, uh, secondary uh, vnet here which would be jv underscore ci underscore vnet and uh, traffic to remote virtual network would be allow traffic forwarded from uh, remote virtual network would also be allow and uh, virtual network gateway or router server will be set to none here so let's click on add here so let's wait for it to um, um, get created it is created now so let's wait for some time and then we will uh, click on refresh here uh, to see like uh, we will basically be waiting for the peering status to be connected. If you see here, uh, we are able to see the peering status is set to connected now. So that means like uh, the peering between the VNet that is uh, JB underscore SI VNet, which is in South India region, is now peered with uh, uh, the virtual network that is present in uh, Central India, which is JB underscore CA underscore VNet. So we are successfully able to connect to it. Now that uh, we have connected uh, each of these two uh, VNets, what we'll do is like, let's look at um, uh, the status of the managed instance that we have um, uh, um, started the deployment on Central India region. So the deployment is completed now. So let's go to the resource. So we are able to see that uh, this is the host and uh, this is the resource group and location is Central India. Everything seems to be good. So let's copy the host uh, here and then we will try connecting uh, to it. So uh, so JB Dist MI SECCI, that's the managed instance that we have created in Central India. So let's try connecting to it. 
and as expected we were able to connect to it um, everything seems to be okay i don't have any databases here so i will use this instance as uh, uh, the failover group secondary from the south india managed instance so uh, we will uh, uh, try uh, creating it um, uh, soon on this particular thing so uh, one thing to understand is like um, uh, if we can understand this particular um, uh, virtual machine which is uh, jb uh, iphone jump server it is created basically on um, um, uh, the virtual network that is present in south india it is mandatory that we need to create the peering between um, the south india virtual network the central india virtual network for us to successfully connect to this particular managed instance because this particular uh, virtual machine is in um, uh, south india uh, virtual network and since this um, uh, managed instance is configured in central india we will have to create the uh, uh, v net peering between south india to central india then only we will be able to connect to uh, the managed instance from this particular uh, virtual machine which is basically created using the virtual network in South India. Just that is something that we need to uh, keep in mind. And also this VNet peering is very much required for you to create a, a failover group between South India and Central India because each of these two um, um, uh, managed instances are in different region and different resource group. And we need to basically create this link that is using this uh, VNet peering to make sure uh, these two can communicate to one another. Let's try connecting to uh, the Central India Managed Instance using um, um, Azure Active Directory in USL with MFA. We forgot to do that, so let's try connecting to it and see if it is working. So as expected, if you can see here, I've uh, connected uh, to this um, Central India Managed Instance as well using... Yeah, everything seems to be okay. I'm able to connect to the Central India Managed Instance using uh, SQL authentication and also with uh, the MFA. And I was able to do the same thing on uh, South India Managed Instance also. So what we'll do is like we will create a failover group and then we will check it further. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.